Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make animated typewriter style text and add it to your Python programs. So normally when Python prints it prints a whole line at a time but sometimes in your programs especially say a role play game or an adventure game uh, if it's dialogue you might want to appear it bit, uh, make it appear bit by bit by bit and this is how you do it. Okay so first thing we do is we create ourselves a new file and we need to file save as and we'll just save it i'm going to call mine typewriter.py but you can call yours um whatever you want there we go okay it's not letting me do that because i've already got it open so mine's okay but just create your own file now let's imagine we've got a message here and we'll do hello world nice to meet you there we go. Brilliant. So there's our message. So how do we print it out? Well, what we need to do is we can't use the print function. We need to use the inbuilt sys module. And we also need to use time and OS. Sys is good if you're printing out each individual character. Time is to give us a bit of a wait before we print out the next character. And OS, we're going to use the OS.system clear to clear the screen. There we go. So what do we do? Well, we say, okay, for each chat, uh, character in the message, we're going to use the sys.sddout.write, and we're going to write the character. Then we need to flush the buffer, which actually prints it to the screen. So sddout.flush. And then finally, we're going to wait uh, we're going to wait a little while. Let's say time.sleep 0.1. And there you go. That's about as complicated as it gets. For each character, print it, display it, and then sleep. So let's save that. There you go. And let's see that in action. There you go. Hello world. Nice to meet you. Brilliant. So you can add that straight away to your Python program and it will work. Uh, and there's no problems. What I'm going to show you now is how we can wrap all this inside of a nice helpful function so that you can import the function into any of your programs without having to rewrite all this code and it will just work. In fact, it'll improve it. So let's get started. So first thing we do here is we create ourselves a function called typewriter and it's going to take one input argument, which is the message you wanted to display. We'll tab that in because it's going to do that pretty much as it is there. Um, but what we also need to do is let's say we've got a multi-line message. Let's say uh, let's say that's but uh, computer. There's hello world, nice to meet you. And what I'll do here now, I'll just edit this message. I'll put another backslash which will allow me to put this message and carry on with the message on the next line. And I'll put uh, me nice to meet you too. Backslash and backslash. And then finally computer goodbye. Oops. Get rid of that end there. There you go. So now what we've got is a three line message. We want to do the first line, the second line and the third line. So here's our function, which is great. Let's use the os.systemclear or CLS in Windows. In Linux, you would use clear instead of, um, in, in, instead of CLS. And what we do now is we just call the function. So typewriter brackets message. Yeah, save that. Now, if you go back here, there you go. Computer, hello world, nice to meet you. Me, nice to meet you too. And then, goodbye. There you go. So there's the dialogue, which is good. But what you might notice there is that as soon as it gets to the end of this line here, it instantly goes on to the next line, which is okay. But Really, what you want there is after each piece of dialogue, uh, after each piece of dialogue, each line, 
we want to have a bit more of a break rather than just a 0.1 second break. So how do we do that? Well, what we say here is to say, okay, I'll tell you what, if the character that uh, is being displayed doesn't equal a new line, then we'll do what we've just said. There you go. We'll display all that. Otherwise, what we'll do is we'll do a, oops, actually, hang on. Let's just undo that. No, 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 no. Oops. We'll do it. Just done that in the wrong place. Let's just do it here. Right there. So if the character, let's try again, does not equal a new line, then we will sleep 0.1. We'll take that out of there. Because if it's just normal character, we'll sleep a little bit. But if the character is a new line, then we will time dot sleep one second and this will give a delay at the end of each line that's a little bit longer so it'll feel a bit more like a natural conversation let's have a go let's try again there you go so computer there you go bit of a pause then it carries on to the next line bit of a pause and then it does the next line after that. Again, you can mess with that, you can change that, you can do a longer delay or a shorter delay, but that's pretty much it. That's as much as you got to do. And the, what you now have here is you have a function called typewriter that you could use in any of your programs. All you need to do is make sure that you copy the script into uh, your other program, into, your, um, into the same folder, and then you can import it like any other module there you go okay i hope that was useful and if you like the uh, tutorial then please to sub subscribe to the channel and like the video any questions or comments or suggestions please uh, add a comment on the youtube video thank you very much